If you haven't tried blow, don't waste your time or money. You're not missing anything. You do a bunch of shit and then you'll be up all night forcing your eyes closed trying to sleep. Your nose all fucked up and stuffy. Your dick doesn't work. Nothing like Hollywood advertises. It's actually an antisocial drug. There's tests done with lab mice that uh, instead of doing coke and being social and having food and environment, they'd rather do coke alone and isolate until they die. Do coke till they die. And that was me. I was super antisocial. Nobody talks about it, but uh, a lot of people that I was selling to would just go home alone and do it too and probably be up beaten off all night like I was doing. Spitting drips on my dick and stuff. As soon as I do one line, I can't talk, I can't hold the conversation. I've said it before, I shut everything down. 11.30, the last call text message goes out to all the customers, and then 12 o'clock, the phone's off, and I'm far away where nobody can find me because I wouldn't tell anybody where I lived because I didn't want anybody showing up my, at my house. Uh, just the paranoia, and I didn't want anybody knocking on my door and showing up while I'm trying to jerk off. I had so much available vagina, and I still just chose to go off, do blow, and beat off all night. and never finish fucking birds chirping you will start hating the birds if you start doing blow i don't know what's left to say about it it's fucking expensive it's a waste of money it's a horrible drug sketchy shit the next morning's terrible that's how my opioid addiction really kicked in is to get off the sketch the next morning bottom line no pun intended uh blow is a terrible drug a waste of money nothing like it is in the movies you end up with a fucked up nose like this i missed out on so much fucking money shutting down at midnight because that's when all the real cokeheads come out after the bar and all that but i learned that pretty well after you know midnight half the people calling don't have money they're showing up with no money just a bunch of bullshit anyways i probably avoided getting busted a few times shutting everything down at midnight and fellas girls know sorry i'm eating my fucking lunch break here girls know that if you do blow your your dick's not gonna work so get the pussy first before you give out the blow do a big line off a stripper's tits and ask what for you can't use your dick after that anyways. Unless you mix Viagra, but risking a heart attack with that. No pussies worth dying for. And there's a lot of misinformed people cutting their blow with ridiculous shit like Tylenol and baking soda. Shit that's not even water soluble, so it's just stuck in your sinuses until you blow it out the next day. And that's what I, I when I first started selling, I was using baking soda because that's what I heard in rap songs. But I, you know, later on realized after destroying everybody's sinuses, including my own, that that was the... The crack recipe, that's not what you cut with. But then I switched to proper stuff eventually. And as shitty as that next morning is, blowing shit out your nose and getting no sleep, chances are you're still going to want to do it again. So just say no.